Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use the Ultra Key to key out the green in your green screenshots in the studio. What you're looking at here is footage of Zach that has already been keyed out and exported onto a single track. This is showing a photograph in the back, so it looks like he's actually at a barbecue area. You want to bring in your green screen footage. Just go up to the top and go File, Import. Go find your clip that you want to import and say Open. And then you're going to drag and drop it onto the timeline. And you'll see here that this is this green in the back is not evenly lit. The proper lights were not on in the studio at the time. It's a little too bright in the right hand side and it has some darker shadows on the left. But we'll be able to key out the green, no problem. I'm going to come over here to effects in the bottom left hand corner. I'll type in ultra in my search bar, U-L-T-R-A, and I'll see the ultra key. I'll drag and drop that to my footage that I have on the timeline. I'll click in the upper left hand panel and I'll open up the ultra key and I'll see this eyedropper here and this is where you can actually eliminate any color from your footage. You just have to let it know which color you want to eliminate. I selected the eyedropper key and then I'm going to come to the right and look for my most medium green color. I'll hold control on the keyboard and you'll see that makes the eyedropper fat. That's going to allow me to get a five pixel radius and not just a single pixel. Because I already have my image that I want to show through, in this case it's a brick wall, uh, when I click on that I will see that it shows through what's underneath it. So on video one you're going to put your image or video that you want to show through and on video two or three you would put your green screen footage. Now you can see that it's, if I hide this clip here, this little eyeball, you'll see I don't have this keyed out properly yet. And so I'm going to select the green screen, make sure I have that clip selected, come up to the ultra key, and I am going to change from composite on the output to alpha channel. This is showing me, it's like a mask. I'm trying to get this all black in the background and then Zach would be all white. I'm going to open up the matte generation and I'm going to push up the pedestal. What I'm looking for here is that this is turning black and he stays white for my mask. Now I still see in the upper right hand corner, I know that it, that was brighter, so that was my highlight. So I'm going to go over to my highlight and it's called scrubbing when you hover underneath and then just go back and forth. So I'm going to go till that's totally black and I know this is a little darker in the left hand side. So I'm going to go to my shadow and push that just a little bit. Perfect. Now I'll change this from the alpha channel back to the composite and I'll see that this is almost a perfect knockout now. A knockout's more of a graphic design term. There is a little bit of green around the edge and so I can go and adjust the choke and that will take it in just a little bit. You don't want to go too far, see how this makes him like the edges of the image disappear. You want to do it just enough that the green disappears. And that's how you use the Ultra Key in Premiere Pro. Good luck.